watchOS 9.2 beta 3 is here and since this is sort of a late video this update is not only available to developer beta testers but it's also available to public beta testers for me on my apple watch ultra updating from watchOS 9.2 beta 2 this beta 3 update came in at exactly 255 megabytes now obviously this is not all that apple recently released when it comes to apple beta softwares you can see some other operating systems that are here ios 16.2 as well as ipad os 16.2 beta 3 and also we have mac os 13.1 beta 3 watch os 9.2 beta 3 and tvOS 16.2 beta 3 most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at halfman half tech so if you want to know what your devices can do then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out now like i mentioned if we go into our apple watch just to see some of the software changes that are here you can see if you check for the update it is up to date and if we go to the about section here it just takes a moment you can see the version is 9.2 and the build number I have on file is 20S5348D. So this ends with a delta and in terms of stability, it just goes to show you that yes, we do have a few more betas that are to come before we do get the final release of watchOS 9.2. Now, some of the new features that are here when it comes to this update it is more of a bug fix update and the first one that i have to mention has to do with the health app so within the health app whenever you would try to export or extract some data for example if you try to extract xml file syntax data there was a bug with that where sometimes you might not be able to do that and that has been fixed with this update and also when you go to the sharing section there's a new pop-up screen that has been updated that show sort of tells you what's new and the layout is just a little bit refreshed and just minor wording changes here also there's a new fix that's here with this update that has to do with the workout app on the apple watch for multiple workouts so for example if you're doing a multiple default workout like track and field or even a different workout that you can customize there was an issue whereby sometimes the workouts will be slow and that issue has been fixed on watchOS 9.2 beta 3. Pretty soon there's going to be a new home app architecture that's going to basically make the design a little bit better and faster and more reliable for being able to connect different devices across different platforms so we are waiting to see how that's going to look on the apple watch and on the iphone with the latest ios version when it fully comes out now when it comes to giving feedback for these beta updates usually we give feedback using the feedback assistant app or that platform but there's also talk of a new beta platform or interface for beta feedback when it comes to softwares that you might be testing for apple be it watchOS, ios or mac os so whether they are going to sort of refresh this feedback app that we have we are yet to see or maybe they'll introduce a newer interface or app that will allow you to be able to give feedback quite easily so that is something that we are yet to see when it comes to the medications i'll be happy to let you know that this update also has fixed an issue where sometimes medication scheduled schedules would not show up and would revert to a non-set schedule so that issue has been fixed if you do have some medications reminders set for you now there are some major new features and changes that are coming to the apple watch with watch os 9.2 and perhaps at a later update as well and the first one has to do with track detection and this means that now with the apple watch ultra you are going to pretty much soon be able to do like a track detection workout and the way that we know that this is a possibility if we were to go into the release notes of watchOS 9.2 beta 3 it says here that there's a resolved issue in watchOS 9.2 beta 3 it says fixed users who start an outdoor run at a track may see an alert incorrectly indicating that they have left the track so the user continues on the track and the watch will prompt the user 
for a lane selection and track workout won't be affected so that is a resolved issue on the apple watch ultra for watch west 9.2 beta 3 so it is something that's going to be coming pretty soon where you can be able to detect or where the apple watch will be able to detect when you are on a track and it will be able to give you better metrics based on that there's also like a different newer uh feature that's coming to the apple watch when it comes to the workouts app so for example if you do like outdoor walk or outdoor run or outdoor cycle then pretty much soon you'll be able to have the ability to race your route and try beat your previous best record that you set on those two workouts that is outdoor cycle and outdoor run also there's talk of international roaming coming to the apple watch and since this is uh, like a cellular apple watch ultra it's only available in one configuration this is something that you might be able to set up once watch west 9.2 officially comes out now the for divers we basically have this application that is preloaded in the apple watch ultra for divers so I'm, I'm actually just trying to find it so yeah the depth app that you see here is the one that comes by default in the apple watch ultra but there's a new app that is in development by third party divers for apple and this one is going to be called oceanic plus and it's going to be able to unlock and allow you to dive even deeper beyond 40 meters with your apple watch ultra alongside your iphone when it comes to the home app there's also mention of home kit and family setup for kids that will allow you to be able to give control to your kids that uh, they can be able to control things such as speakers and just other various minor devices now that's as much as i have when it comes to watch os 9.2 beta 3 this update is more of a bug fix update most of these are going to be coming out pretty soon in fact i do have an article here you can see some uh, some of the things that are coming like track detection race route international roaming home kit and so on but when it comes to when you can look forward to this update i would say somewhere uh like to the mid of december like i would say december 12 is a pretty good candidate for the official release but other than that since we are on a weekly release cycle for betas then expect watch os 9.2 beta 4 to be released maybe on the 22nd of november this month now other than that that's about it for me guys if you like this video do leave a like and let me know what else you would like to see on watch 9.2 and i'll see you in the next video peace